When a design includes areas with steep slopes, profile views may end up being too tall to fit on the layouts. At times like these, profile views need to be split to allow the entire vertical design to be seen on the sheet. Fortunately, when it comes to splitting profile views, we can let Civil 3D do much of the work for us. Let's take a look. On my screen is a drawing I created using the Automated Plan and Profile Sheet tools. If I click through the layout tabs, we can see that the sheets look pretty good, with the exception of this first one. I have a profile that's creeping off the top of the profile view. I'm going to select the Model tab, we'll jump into Model Space, and we'll zoom in on this profile view. Because of this steep grade, this profile will need to be split, such that the entire profile can fit in this view. In the past, you may have created split profile views manually. As an example, I'm going to pan the drawing down, and then I'll turn on a layer, Let's back up just a little bit. To create a split profile view, you may have copied your original profile view and then taken that copy and selected it. In the contextual ribbon, choose Profile View Properties. You would assign a user-specified station and elevation range. When finished, you would then create a copy of that view over to the right. You would select this view, go back to Profile View Options, and assign a user-specified height and station range for this view. When finished with both, you could select the profile view on the right and drag it over to meet the profile on the left. Now there's nothing wrong with this. If you'd like though, Civil 3D will do much of this work for you. I'm going to click the undo button to separate these profiles. Since split profiles are really just multiple profile views placed side by side, let's talk for just a second about profile view styles. If I hover over this profile view, we can see that it's using a style called ADESC 5x Vertical Grid. This style is fine until I start pushing this profile up against another view. At that point, my elevation labels start to encroach on each other. So let me show you what I did. I'm going to widen up the tool space a little bit, and then on the Settings tab, I'll expand Profile View, and under Profile View Styles, we can see my original style. For the various split versions, I created copies of that original style and named them left, center, and right. Let me pan the drawing over just a little bit and we'll look at these styles. I'll select this profile view on the left, and using my Properties palette, I will select the left side split style. And when I do, you can see that it's really identical, except it's taking the elevation labels here on the right side and it's tucking them in. If I select this profile view on the right, go to the Properties palette, I will assign this the right side split style. Once again, it's identical, except in this case it's taking the elevation labels on the left side and tucking them in. Eventually, when these profile views are pushed together, the labels will work out much nicer. Finally, in the event I have several splits, I've created a style called Split Center. You can probably guess if I select this profile view, go to my Properties palette, and choose the Center style, it's going to tuck the labels in on both sides. If you are creating manually split profiles, you may have already created some styles like these. If so, another nice thing you can do is come over to the Settings tab and right-click on Profile View and choose Edit Feature Settings. In here, expand Default Styles, and right here you can assign your special split profile view styles for the left, center, and right side splits. This way, when we use Civil 3D's Profile Split feature, it will automatically pick the appropriate style. Let's click OK. I'm going to drag the tool space back over where it was. I'll do a layer previous to turn off these profile views. And then we'll center our view on this profile. Currently the profile measures 600 feet long. I'd like to split it right down the middle. I'll do that by selecting the profile view, and then from the profile view properties, here on the Elevations tab, I'm going to come down and choose Split Profile View. Now there's two ways we can split the profile. We can do it automatic or manual. If you choose the automatic method, you can use these menus to influence where Civil 3D does the horizontal and vertical splitting. Likewise, if you choose automatic, you would go to the Profiles tab and using the Split At setting, you can identify which profile you'd like to favor when Civil 3D is determining its splits. I'm going to go back to the Elevations tab, and in this case I'm going to use a manual split. I prefer to use this method because then I have full control over the split locations. At this point, if I was to do nothing, based on the settings we see on screen, Civil 3D is going to take this single view and split it into three views. Instead of accepting these defaults, I'm going to create my own split locations. So I'll select number three, I'll click the red X and delete it, and then I'll remove number two as well. This gets me down to a single profile view. I will then click the Add button and choose my own split location. 
I'm going to split this right at the middle at station 3. I could type that in, or in this case I'm using an object snap. Now Civil 3D wants me to select the minimum elevation for the profile view, and it's interested right now in the profile view on the right side. I'm going to use this opportunity to also find the minimum elevation for the view on the left. Notice as I move my cursor up and down, we can see the elevation there on screen. So it looks like my left side minimum elevation is going to be about 805. And then for the right side, I'd actually like to go a little lower than the current minimum. You can see that the PVI is barely fitting in the view here. Based on the measurement on screen, it looks like I need to go down to around 780. And unfortunately, I can't enter that value because it's outside the current view. That's all right. All I have to do is remember those numbers, 780 for the right side and 805 for the left. I'm just going to click on screen and accept the current elevation. I can then enter my values, 805 for the left, 780 for the right. I will then click Apply and OK, and you will see that absolutely nothing happens. That's because there's a little quirk with this command. Let me show you what it is. The profile view is still selected. I'm going to go back to profile view properties. I need to adjust the height. Really this height's fine, but I need to switch it to something else in order to get the split to activate. I'm going to change it to 25 momentarily and I'll click apply. And if we look now we can see the split. Let me switch it back to 35. I'll press tab to accept that value. I'll click apply and OK. I will then press escape. This looks pretty good. Now I can go through and adjust my labeling. I'll click and move the PVI label over. Let me turn off my running object snaps momentarily so they don't get in the way. These labels look good. Since this grade breaks pretty high I'm going to select it and I'll use the flip option to move it beneath the profile. I will then use the grip and we'll pull it in a little closer. Let's do another zoom object. We'll center this profile view on screen and then I'll reselect my plan and profile sheet and ensure everything looks good. So the next time you're working with profile data that's too tall to fit on a sheet, consider using Civil 3D's split profile feature. With a little practice using this tool, you may never again need to create manual splits of your profile views.